Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the assistant winemaker here at Halter Ranch. Today we're going to show you a little bit about how we bottle. Can I explain the process of bottling? So generally for the red wine, uh, like the ancestor that we're bottling today, uh, it will enjoy up to 18 months of barrel aging. Uh, at that time, uh, about a week before bottling, we'll pull the wine uh, out of barrel into the tank that it's going to be bottled from. Uh, and we'll make sure that the wine is in a proper disposition to go in the bottle. So we'll make sure that the free sulfur is where we want it to be. Uh, and do any finishing uh, touches on the wine. We triple rinse the lines to make sure that everything's uh, clean as possible, uh, going from the tank into the bottle. Um, we go onto the bottling truck where we load uh, clean glass, uh, and that glass is purged uh, with nitrogen, and then uh, filled, uh, level checked, and corked. After corking, the bottles go around the carousel, uh, two people pack them into cardboard boxes, which uh, get sent down a chute as they're taped. Then we sticker and stamp the boxes and palletize. Uh, we'll shrink wrap the pallets and put it immediately into cold storage. So there's uh, trying to think about the wine the whole time that it's being bottled, uh, testing for any possible uh, dissolved oxygen uptake uh, during the process of bottling, uh, making sure that all the other details and standards are in place. What happens just before bottling? Main priority uh, is to make sure that you have a package to put the wine into. Uh, so you need to make sure that you have the right bottles uh, for your product, the right corks, the right labels, and everything works together the way that you want it to. Uh, and then we uh, use a mobile bottling line. So the mobile bottling line needs to pull in uh, at least the day before, uh, set up, uh, make sure that all of the nitrogen uh, power and water is supplied to the mobile line. So having the, the wine ready, uh, the package ready, uh, the bottling line, and then the people. We always hope that the weather cooperates with us so that we can keep the temperature stable uh, during the whole process of bottling. How do we know when it's time to bottle? The time to bottle the wine is dictated by uh, how the wine uh, comes uh, through fermentation. General rule of thumb, the rosés and whites we want to bottle and enjoy fresh. Uh, the red wines have more natural antioxidants uh, that come from the skins, so those we tend to build uh, for cellaring. Uh, it's for that kind of program as the ancestor is today. Uh, if it's a quicker drinking red wine, uh, we're not as fanatic about the phenolic uh, numbers, uh, so we we really try to bottle the wine at a time that it can get to market uh, when it's best enjoyed by the consumer. So uh, for the rosé, this means no barrel aging. Uh, for something like the Ancestor, which we're bottling today, it has one of our longer uh, barrel aging programs, uh, along with the uh, other reserves. Uh, how many bottles can we do in a day? At the highest speeds, the bottling line is definitely making the crew sweat, uh, especially the packers, because those full bottles are coming down the conveyor. Uh, and if you don't get them into the box and get the box off your table, then it starts to back up and you start to have bottles fall in your lap. So uh, it, can, it can get hectic, uh, but roughly 2,100 to 2,400 cases a day. How do we decide which bottles get corks and which get screw caps? Our interest with a screw cap is to seal the package uh, and not allow air exchange. Uh, so we'll use a screw cap in the case of the rosé and the whites. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they don't have the natural antioxidants uh, to the extent that the red grapes do in the skin. Uh, so more important to have less oxygen exposure for the rosé and white wines. Uh, we use a cork for packages where we want uh, some air exchange through the cork over years and decades that the bottle is going to be stored. That would be the, the main difference between cork and screw cap for our program is whether we intend the bottle to be enjoyed immediately or we intend for the bottle to breathe a bit during cellaring and aging. What is bottle shock? Bottle shock is the period of time uh, when the wine uh, is beaten up uh, for bottling and then uh, comes back to its uh, resting state in the package. Uh, so when the wine has come back to its uh, initial state uh, before uh, it went into the bottle, uh, we say that it's uh, gone through its bottle shock period.
What's it like to work on the bottling line? You feel very much that you need to keep up the pace of the machine. Uh, the wine comes at a set speed. Uh, the bottles are going through the machine at a set speed. Um, you're the body that's making sure that the bottles are in the right place on the machine uh, to keep that speed. Even though you are a part of a machine, uh, there's a camaraderie that you develop with the crew uh, as you're working with that machine uh, and that camaraderie is uh, to be enjoyed in the workplace. How long does it take to bottle a full year's vintage? Our bottling is spread over uh, different time frames. Uh, we talked about how the wines want to be bottled at different times in the year. Uh, so in December we'll do the bottling of our rosé uh, traditionally and then in uh, spring we generally do another bottling. Uh, we hope to do a third bottling uh, in early summer uh, and this again is all depending on how long we want to elevage the wine. I'd say it probably takes about four or five weeks, uh, but our current case production around uh, 28,000 cases roughly uh, per annum, uh, split over those four or five weeks at uh, about 2,100 to 2,400 cases uh, per day. How long after bottling until wine is ready to drink? Uh, as soon as bottle shock is overcome, uh, the next question is somewhat subjective. Uh, there are wines that are meant to be drunk fresher, but of the wines that are meant to be cellared, uh, there are uh, people who enjoy fresher, younger wines. There are people that really enjoy the flavors that develop with aging uh, in proper cellar conditions. So that becomes more of a subjective decision for the drinker. Uh, but in general, the wine's ready uh, as soon as you're ready to enjoy it. So there's a glimpse of what goes into putting wine into the bottle. Uh, hectic bottling day is always uh, satisfying to complete. Um, I'm happy to share the information with you. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.